Sorry, dude. But I have I have a couple of toys to remove from the place. Because I don't want to step on it. Because it hurts as fuck. Do you ever remember what kind of feel the step on it I go? <laughs> no, it's terrible. I have two kids, and both of them is have an expert to create a mess. Of course, their kids, uh, they have a truckload of games and toys and whatever. All the family members just keep booing the plastic shit to entertain the kids. <laughs> I'm packing in a uh, couple of minutes, I don't know, the time is now, 8 past, so yes, it's still, still a lot of toys appears in here, <coughs> yes, I have to pack up these things, so only one time I can made a video when my kids are going to sleep and my wife is going to sleep too so that's why I made the video now <clears throat> because I want to show you something what is uh, it is broken <laughs> come on it's pure waste <sighs> come on well, okay <clears throat> as you see now this is a an own thing is a translated version, uh, not fully translated version. Uh, it works uh, almost too good, <laughs> almost good. <clears throat> this is the rig. Can you see that? <clears throat> uh, there is a main board. It's a ASOS P60 Deluxe. We are called uh, called that a little bit different name. We call it the disaster. We call it the disaster because there is no PCI Express handling above 2.0. And I have this card, maybe you see that, GTS 250. This is the biggest card I have in a PCI Express 2.0. And I have a bigger card in here. I mean, a lot bigger. A lot bigger because this son of a Page have two cores, maybe you see that it's a dual core with a graphics card. Uh, yes, I forgot to mention this badass is 2.1, and I cannot fit this into this disaster. Of course, this is a P60 Deluxe, which is, means a uh, Intel Core i7 is sitting inside that uh, Celeron E7. Celeron i7 is sitting in it because it's called Core i7 920, which is four cores and eight trees, but it really works like a Intel Core i3 and nothing more. The only good point is this uh, a turning on and off switch on a motherboard, which is not planted in my brand new motherboard, which is uh, somewhere on the streets because it's ordered but does not come in time <clears throat> so this is the rig with two pieces of two gigabytes and one piece of four gigabytes of memories because this uh, disaster mainboard is do not able to handle four same memories because switch to dual channel mode which is uh, terrible in that case. <clears throat> okay, so this is the rig uh, with a uh, very slow uh, SSD HyperX. Maybe you see that from this angle, 120 gigabytes and connected to a SATA drive um, there and running. And there's a, a way more bigger Seagate Barracuda 2 terabytes hard disk drive in it. So this is the rig. And uh, this is a monitor. Uh, this is not my choice of monitor. <laughs> this is a spare one. A spare monitor because I uh, I'm planned a brand new machine 
with a brand new housing, a brand new uh, mainboard processor, uh, uh, video card, everything in it. So this blue <coughs> terrible disaster is will be removed back to the corner as a spare machine. <coughs> so this place is replaced by a very wide angle monitor. But for now, I have this thing, HP 1730, which is good because I have write some novels and I can tilt the entire screen, but not by hand. Uh, maybe it's a way more better if I use it both of my hands, but um, I have to hold the phone to, to, to record everything. So this is the way how I can <clears throat> write my novel. So it's a little bit, uh, it's really hard to rotate, <clears throat> but it works well, so it's not, not need to mention. <laughs> it works well. Oh, hi. <laughs> This is me, but actually I need both of my hands, as I told you. Because this monitor is old as, as the country road. <laughs> but, uh, come on. This is the main thing we are actually talking about this shit, no? Because <laughs> real values is last forever. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is your program running on this. Oh, come on. I, I can't use a better word because there is not exist a better word than that this is terrible what is actually going in here because i have no computer horsepower i have a dual core celeron intel core i7 920 which is a low vest uh, a low vest snail in the entire intel factory so it's terrible Okay, so <clears throat> let me show you something. This is the the login screen. Of course, this is my very ugly face with my name, and I have a very difficult password to it. So yes, it's only three digits, but never mind. Uh, it's a translated version of Neon, but I have a couple of mistakes. I see, and I don't even know how to handle it. Okay, press return. And this time I can log in. Oh, shit, this is my Facebook, but this doesn't matter. Uh, let me show you something. This is the main menu with a translated Hungarian version. But... Uh, yes, you, you see that well. I'm, I'm really not prepared to... So what I really need to say to you, maybe I forget to say you something when I actually turn this thing on. So, yeah, I remember. Okay, I got it. There is a booting sequence in in here. System settings, of course, is a translator version. I have to say that a couple of more times. Mm. You have to wait until I set your something in here no please stand by uh stand by in here maybe actually i don't want to cheat because you have to see how i do and what i do okay this is a big something it's filled with unnecessary bullshit 90% is my wife's belongings, you know. We are never use it, just store it. <laughs> Maybe you know the story. Now, this is the thing I'm actually calls for. This is a mobile phone tripod, which is a very helpful thing if I want to show you something. Hmm? It's not bad. Okay, so come here and sit in here. <laughs> Maybe it's better. Okay, now. Oh well, oh, it's maybe not that fine, but it's work. <laughs> it works. Okay, let's set. let's see what is happening in here. There's a box in here. Maybe these boxes can be. 
There's a <laughs> bumper for my mobile phone. Yes, you see that one. Okay, so let me see what I can show you. What I can show to you. Do you see that? I hope you see that because this is why I show you. Uh, <laughs> here's my Facebook. Uh, my fingers is maybe better to show you a couple of things in here. Maybe it's better. So the first thing I really want to show you is uh, booting sequence stuff. Uh, I don't find it. Come on. Operance, work area, customization, network, hardware, uh, system administration. Where's the booting sequence? I lost it. Uh, Ah, uh -huh, here is it. <laughs> okay, so here's a booting screen. Uh, this is not what I'm actually searching for. I want to search for login, log, login, in the Um, start to losing. So, <laughs> uh, here is it. Boot splash. Boot splash screen. Uh, no. Which one is that? SSDM. This is it. Oh, come on. At last I find it. SSDDM is a login screen, but I don't know what is the shortage means. So, here's a login screen. Breeze one and set the wallpaper. Loading from a file and set the file login for JPEG open and save with the password. Okay, and nothing happens. <laughs> Every single time I set the background to this thing, this blue and white background is appears without any kind of questioning. So I have to change this one or this one or I don't know. I tried with Nixos, no blur, but it's still not working. It's still the same login JPEG. Okay, open it, apply, and the three. Oh, uh, it's not working. Maybe I hit the escape accidentally. Okay, apply and the password. So it's still not working. The thing is, the next thing is. Close it, reopen it again, and let me ask you something about the translation. What about the translation? Because a couple of lines in here is not even tried to be a Hungarian, and I don't know why. So why this thing is even can happen? Uh, it has a top side. It's a better one. It has plasma style. The style is is not Hungarian bird, you know, and of course his his works are supposed to be as a OpenGL desktop, so I can rotate the the cube. Okay, it's the basic stuff. You very well know that. So it's, it's working even in this low machine with the very memory. Let me show you memory stuff. There, this is a memory stuff. And maybe you see that clearly. I have installed a 6 gigabyte memories. As you see, 6 gigabyte, 6.2 gigabytes, it means 5.8 gigabyte and don't get it. <laughs> Maybe is a calculation wrong or something. This is open physical memory in here, but maybe it's better in this way. So, is uh, let me show you one more thing. G for Ted. You very well know this program is called G for Ted. The G for Ted is a partition experiment thing. And here's a Linux web. I'm installed the Linux web. And uh, the KDA Ubuntu is always load the web when the computer is start. But the noun is not. So I have to go in here, right click on it, and turn on the web. And that's it. The swap is turned on. 
And now 5 gigabytes is free from the swap area. Because nothing is work in here. Nothing is doing in here because nothing is open. Which is memory resourceful or something. Is, is free. 100%. And a physical memory is only 20% free. And all the others is a disk fascinator. <laughs> it's a Hungarian translation. Doesn't uh, take it so seriously. Make the disk faster <laughs> area. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. 45%. So it's 45% faster? Of course it's not. It's a mistranslated stuff. And here's all uh, application datas, 30%. And here's a all memory. Is it user physical memory is 43 and all free memory stuff is a 56%. So there's a couple of mistranslating stuff in here. And uh, it's, it's, it's so funny in here. <laughs> so how oh, much more bigger the disk fascinator, so faster the disk is? Come on, no. <laughs> it's, it's bullshit, you know. So this is a two device I have, a two terabytes and a 120 gigabytes or something. Here is a, a slash and here is a home uh, partitions. And the uh, SDA is a pure uh, storage and nothing is happening in here. Only XT4 and the spare device in here is used as a swap because this is a HDD, a hard disk drive, and I cannot risk the SSD to use a swap in a bag because it's forbidden. Maybe you know that. So a lot of things are not translated into Hungary, not even the Gport end. In Kubuntu, the Gportet is translated well as any other program. So why not the Neon can do the same? Then in here. <sighs> Did you see that guy in here? Show K Runner. What does that mean? If I am not understand the English and I already installed the operation system in a Hungarian language. I am not understand this word and I cannot go to the G at all. Uh, the partition stuff I start typing in automatically run the G parted because it is installed. But what is that means partition editor? This is not Hungarian. And if I'm not installed the G parted the KDA have his own partition editor is a K partie. What, what the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not not remember that name really well. But this thing is replace the KDA's old partition editor without any kind of things or something. Uh, of course, I have a Steam now. Maybe you see that is a, a Steam running in in here very well i i can't say any bad word because i'm using purposely purposely in english because if i'm using a steam in hungarian language the steam creates a hungarian folder every single one game inside and i'm trying to avoid that so i'm using english in in just just in a steam so the steam is fine because i turn into a hungary and this word i know this is not your work but your work is the steam is running well on this very very slow machine you have to remember that kind of very slow machine i'm uh, actually hate that but you know it's work and maybe this uh, small thing is only that matters it's, it's working because of you guys. So that's fascinating. Okay. Uh, any other things? Uh, I have a single display now. But if I have three displays in, in a row, three displays in a row, I cannot run anything in three displays mode except the games run in a Windows. You don't get it. <laughs> You don't get it, do you? So this is a window-wide gaming mode. 
A window at gaming mode, I can push the window out of the screen and open it like crazy. And again, push it other side and enlarge it again and push it again and enlarge it again. Do you know what I'm actually doing now? Don't you do? <laughs> it's, it's cutting a half. Did you see that? The entire window is cut in a half. I cannot uh, present you a thing how this thing is actually working if I have three monitors in a row. You know? So, and, and this lagging. Let me see this lagging. So, what is that? This lag is, is, is terrible. Okay, I know I have a slow PC, but come on. I can enlarge this game and everything is run in a window mode into a three displays mode in a row. But I cannot run the game in a full screen mode. In a screen resolution, I cannot set in the correct resolution of a three displays in a row. Of course, all the three displays is a very same type of the monitor and very same uh, resolution of of course so this is a very same monitors of three and connect to the same uh, video card because the video card have three outputs and the three monitors is uh, maybe runs well but, but no <laughs> so this is a one more thing now the next thing I really want to say <laughs> oh come on I'm tired <laughs> Tomorrow is Monday, and now I have to sleep in order to get back to construction site. <laughs> yes, because I have a, a work to do, and I'm completely forgetting what I'm really intent, intended to say to you. <laughs> so this operation system, <coughs> the KDN now is now and is released in 2020. January 2, 2nd, or something like that. After I'm installing it, <coughs> uh, I have a reaction. So if I install operation system, the first thing I'm going is to update, to refresh the system, to get the system up to date. So it's easy. But the system is tells me your system is up to date because you only downloaded a day ago. So you'll be fine. You should be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> so there's a weird, uh, strange thing in here, you know. So, your system is fine, but really far away from translated correctly and handling the multi-display settings. So, <clears throat> this two thing is, is far from perfect, you know. Uh, in the next weeks, one or maybe two, Maybe you check my other videos and maybe you understand what I say that because I'm used to be a three monitors in a row. Because I like an affinity. As you remember, I have a dual core graphics card with the six outputs, and I'm only using three. So well, it's fine. The three monitor setup as AMD Affinity is fine because I can use for a trackload of things. For gaming, of course, for writing a novel, each one monitor is set to a novel part. So I know what I write already, what I should be tr write, and what I'm writing now, actually. So as a three display setup, it helps me a lot. But in this time, I have a financial, pro financial problem, and I have sell the preview setup, <coughs> and I get my money back, so... I don't want to get back my affinity because I'm going to get a better one, a faster one. And the next weeks, my setup is come because I'm already ordered it back in December. And all the storage is now closed due to the, how I say that, to the holidays. And my setup is coming in the next couple of days, maybe a week or something. And I have to re 
record everything in a new desktop and you have to see what kind of difference gives the fast computer with a wide no wide screen you know Samsung C49 you know that you know 120 centimeters so it's a wide screen you know wide not simple HP 7030 <laughs> now it's really wide stuff so the two computers is difference in everything but one thing is cannot change the translation stuff even in a console you know what a console is let me show you you are so many time using this thing in a console in here you know that shit bash console okay so control and the mouse wheel is is enlarge it for you so here's a console type and I can type anything I want and press the enter come on it's nothing fun so <clears throat> the console is not Hungarian is still English okay it's not working <laughs> yes it's not working oh come on what is that? Sudo! <laughs> You're going too crazy now! <laughs> type that. <laughs> Get the hell from me. <laughs> and here's a password. This is the hell. You know, thank you, Sudo. Well, okay, so... So all in all, I really want to say, this is not English. If i installing something, if I purge something, if I uninstall something, if I apt get something, is not Hungarian. The Kubuntu, the KDA Ubuntu is do it fine. And what is the difference? Nothing. <laughs> Only this thing is provides me the latest KDA uh, opportunities. And I don't see anything just... Uh, where is the picture from here? <laughs> It's usual picture in here, no? no? A big KDA logo or something. I don't know where is it. Oh, never mind. Uh, so, a couple of things are actually uh, weird, but okay, stable. Oh, a second one, the cursors. Cur. No. Cur. Zors. Okay, it's a hanger and stuff. So, here's a breeze light. Maybe you see that? A breeze line. And I am like the white button in a, a big resolution, is a 42 or something. And this arrow is a lot of times get into this thing, the black one. Let me give you an example. Uh, let's open something. <coughs> It's a Devian art, maybe you sh know about this artistic web page. It's a drawings and paintings in here. Did you see that? It's black. And after, this is black, do you know? And going back in the cursors, is is instantly going to white. Did you see that? It's black and white. Okay, the one more thing I have to show you. If I push the wheel on the mouse to slightly going up is quickly going into the white one and after release it it's going back to dark so what is that i don't know and going to another web page is still black going to the press to the middle of mouse button to rolling is white release it is going to black again so what is happening in here and going from here is white again so what is happening in here I don't even understand what is happening. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's weird as, as I, I don't get it. <laughs> no. <clears throat> uh, types. Yeah. Now, uh, I don't want to go deeply inside this. So, <clears throat> all in all, the first. 
First things first. So my name is Dahat Labu Farkas. Maybe you see my face in here. And <clears throat> my room is in here. Of course, the wives and mines and and uh, the bank owns a bigger part. So it's a financial bullshit. <clears throat> my video is about the KD and on the latest relays, which is fine, great, running the Steam, running the my favorite application. So it's just fine. It's running well, but where is the translation? Where is the small things? The small things give the KDA to can be the best. You know, if the KDA is loose, uh, they are best things. The small detail questions, the KDA is loose, the, the losing the first place and the cinnamon is getting back again but come on <laughs> this is not a good idea huh I like the cinnamon too the XFCA oh there is no more desktop operation system and yes <laughs> I know what you mean there is a Windows 10 <coughs> 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 no the Windows 10 is not good for the people itself. Windows 10 is not built for be good for the people, you know. And you know what I mean. So there is a reason why I changed to the KDA 10 years ago. Of course, it's not perfectly time and true. Because 10 years ago, I'm using a, a GNOME. Ubuntu 12.04 Well, I think that was the world most best operation system of all time. Why I say that? <clears throat> there was a time <clears throat> back in the day I'm 42, you know. <laughs> well, you see that in my hair? My beard? <laughs> yes, I'm 42, yeah. So, back in my day, there was a thing, it's called Pentium 3. Yes, and there was a time when they said Pentium 4. And both of them used it to call accelerons. This means the Intel light. And most of the Hungarians outside of the window well, you know me. The window is there. You know? Hi! <laughs> so, yes. Outside of the window, <clears throat> there is a lot of poor guys, girls, young and old, and <clears throat> wives and husbands. So, everyone is poor. Now, over 90%. So, they cannot afford a fast computer like me. Yes, because I'm ordered the fast one, so I have to pay for it. So, most of the family cannot afford a better computer, just the Pentium 4. So here comes the problem. All the Pentium 3s, Pentium 4s, Pentium 4s, yes, not Pentium 4s, you, you maybe understand that, and uh, a couple of 775 so is not able to run in 64 bits and not only that <clears throat> they are irritatingly slow maybe you understand what I say so it's, it's frustratingly slow and your KDA is cannot answer for the slow computers the KDA is run only the fastest machines you can afford. So this is not good. So I have to turn my head to the XFCA. And what I'm seeing, you won't believe that. The, K, the, the KDA and the XFCA is going to the same height of the ladder is not built for the slow computers. 
So the Linux is lost its power, refresh the old slow computers and you can watch a YouTube on it, you can play a small games on it. No, because most of the Linux distros is lost the slow computers uh, a chance. Because if you have a slow computer, you cannot install. What I said to you, check this out. The screensaver is activated itself because a timer is passed or something. This is not the Black Wolf picture I send. This is a white and a blue background I do not even want to see. <sighs> yeah, it's a small mistake, but this is not good in this form. I said the wall. Oh, come on! My favorite question. <laughs> I don't want to hurt you guys, but something is missing. I'm get tired now. <laughs> How many times I wake up? Ah, never mind. So where is the screensaver? Huh? The KDA have the most beautiful OpenGL supported 3D cube thing in entire Linux history. The most beautiful OpenGL screensavers is available on Windows 10. And back in the days, the Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows anything. Why we have no screensavers? Uh, I don't understand that. We have no screensavers. Why? Only a lock screen thing, and I can set the lock screen to show my family pictures. With the super powered horsepower filled machine. This is all you can do? Let me answer instead of you. No, because you are not. Uh, no, I mean, you can do better. I mean, a lot better. Okay. Uh, come on, blurry thing when I have to type my password. Is not a bad idea. The problem is the background is white and blue instead of my black or thing. So uh, let me show you. Here's a login JPEG in here. Now you can't see that shit. In here. This thing is uh, almost fit the screen, is randomly created. The wolf is placed in here. Never mind. This thing is must be the login, but nothing happens. Okay, going back to the system settings. Display and monitor. What is the difference between these two? Huh? Can you answer that question? Display and monitor. So I have only one thing. A monitor. I have no display or I have a display but I have no monitor and of course this is not touch screen th thing it's just an old bullshit okay so where is the author setups and tabs from here screen savers settings and everything else so and, and, and other things what the terrible hell is that rotation and symbolize that with a picture and I have to hold the cursor over it to see what is that means in the monitor I have to rotate by my side my, my myself because the monitor can be rotated why or the KDA is not detect somehow or use a better method than a small pictures with a hot air balloon upside down. What is this ugly work? <laughs> this is not good. So you can be better. Oh, a lot better. And I'm really sure about that. Okay, so where is the screensaver? Hmm? Then, and you see here is a picture, a blackboard picture. This is it. And of course... Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's better in this way. So here's a black wolf picture, and here is the basic stuff with the white and the blue uh, background thing. Maybe you see that in this way. So, so why is this thing is actually happening? Why my background is not fit in here? And none of the four, so all the four is the same. If I set anything in here, it not appears in here. This is useless because automatically login is not uh, a useful thing in where a child is. <coughs> Apply. Why? Nothing will be changed now. And here's a breeze. Set the breeze. And I cannot set a background to the breeze. There is no background settings to the breeze. So it's empty. There is no screensavers at all. So <laughs> it's not good. Ah, oh, thing. Let me show you something. The sound. The sound. And here's audio. Let me show you something. Hong. A hong is means the sound in Hungarian. So if I type hong into here, the volume control should be appears in here and there is no volume control. What the fuck? Why I cannot set my hong volume in here? Why is that not working? Why I have to type sound to configure out the device and volume? What? No. I want to read that in Hungarian. It's not working at all. Let me show you something. Is halfway Hungarian and halfway English. Halfway translated thing. Audio. What kind of word is that? Hungarian or English? What is that? Okay. Tools. Built-in audio analog stereo. Uh, they are talking about the integrated sound card from the Asus bullshit motherboard. Okay. Next one. Headphones. Yes, I have those headphones. Okay. Here's a volume. Oh, it's working fine. Built-in audio. Oh, no, no. Rare microphone. It works fine. I have no word. But there is not a Hungarian text in here. So I'm not supposed to be understand the English words in here. So what does that mean? I don't understand. So I have to get some kind of uh, support. Hey, support. Hey, what is that text means? I don't understand that. Why is actually happening to not understanding? Why is not supposed to be in Hungarian in here? Hey, support, do something. <laughs> yes. Okay, next one. Applications. Notifying sounds is, is Hungarian. Why? It's <laughs> why not English? Recording and no sound recording in Hungarian. So the next one thing is a uh, uh, notifying sounds. If I try to increase the volume did you see that? Increasing the volume, the thing will mute itself. And I'm not hitting thing. It's muting. If I unmute this thing, it's go back drop to the zero. It's, it's not working. It's 100% in here and the 0% in here. Of course, we already know this is a 0% and this is a 100% in here. So it's switched. Why? It's not working. I try to grab from the zero because we know that this is a zero. Try to set to the middle, release it, and, and define and mute itself. So what is happening in here? Okay, next one, special. I know you are understand what the Hungarian word means, specialize. Yes. And this is my song chord and what kind of uh, mode I have to use in it. Of course, the 7.1 is not support my uh, uh, integrated sound card because it's not so good at this point. Maybe as a 4 or 0 or something, but it works fine. The program is offers more than my sound card provides. It's not bad. So it's duplex. It's, it's not need to change. Of course, it's still working. 
Let you hear them. You hear them? I'm not sure about that. You hear that? Front, left, front, right. Okay, I'm now sure you were here. Then. So it's fine. Testing is fine. And what is this picture in here? Ah, let me show you. This is my login screen profile picture in a sound settings setup menu. And let me give you an example. What is happening if I change my login screen picture into a bigger one? Loading from a file. Uh, where is my pictures? Uh, backgrounds. Yes, backgrounds is a lot of big things in here. Wow. Oh, come on. I don't need that big thing. Going back to the 400p. Oh, where is it? Oh, here's a big wolf thing. No. Also. Venus Project logo. Do you know about the Venus Project? Oh, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Set. Now, oh. Did you see that? Did you see that logo? <laughs> yes. Because I can see that too. Okay. Turn around. Do it again. <laughs> Set the... Where is it? Uh, maybe this thing is better because it's a rolly car going an uphill or some kind of very famous track or something. Never mind. So it's open. Oh, it's a very big famous car going up to the hill. It's fine. Okay. Save. Very difficult. Password. Okay. Let's see. Verifying. Oh, come on. I can't see shit in here. What a terrible fuck is happening in here. It's not working. So what is happening? Locate, load the file. It's a login screen. You know, it's a black wolf with the right side of the wolf. In, in here. <laughs> okay, it's fine. Uh, it's better. Set the picture. If I set the picture in here, it's maybe better. Okay. No. Sorry. It's the same nothing in here. So, can you tell me about this? <laughs> How I can fit this picture in here? <laughs> I have to turn off my computer because my kids <laughs> and my wife in here to supposed to be come on what are you doing in here what are you doing in here <laughs> well, come on get out of here uh, sorry for this uh, free circles but my family is restless uh, maybe similar to yours but I'm not sure about that of course So, the question is the very same. So, how I can set my profile picture? Let me give you an example. Load a small picture. Because if you try to load a big one, for example, uh, this is my home. Yeah, sorry, you didn't see that. So, here's my home folder in here. And here's a downloading stuff okay yes. okay open and open just a lamp in here okay and there is appears in here a lamp okay set the very difficult password okay and there is still nothing did you see that even if i set a small picture this is not appears in here so, okay. This operation system is good. And this is not a detailed question, but this is my favorite, the KDA. After I see the KDA first in 
I don't remember, maybe five, six years ago. It's called Magea. Magea 4 or Magea 4.1 or whatever, something like that. Magea, um, I'm sure about that. And the Magea offers to install in KDA, so that's why I downloaded the ISO file and burn into a, a pen drive, you know. I burn a pen drive, set to an installment on this and try it out. And wow, how good is this? Wow, it's fascinating, the KDA. And I'm actually falling in love with the KDA. I have a big luck, my wife is not understand the English. So falling in love, you know, is the female stuff. <laughs> okay, so all in all, I have to close my video on. Thank you for watching my video, but <laughs> I'm not expecting to understand everything I say. And maybe you are not able to fix or even try to fix everything I am now showing you because I am limited by this kind of slow technology to show you everything. You know, this is this is not good. After I receive my new computer, I will record everything again to show you the difference between the two. And I can promise that the dip difference will be big because the monitor is big, the horsepower is replaced with a big thing, and and yes, this thing will be awesome. But the problem is. The small detail questions is still not working as supposed to be, you know. When I log in, I want to say, see my, my small face. I'm really not interested if I choose a huge picture and the KDA is cut down and resize my picture into the desired size. That's fine. Okay, do it. Do not remove my choice of picture because it's unfit, or I don't like it, or this race car is not supported, whatever. I choose a picture to a profile picture, resize it, shrink it to a desired size, and save, and fine, and we will be fine. But this thing in here, to four and a half hour, I have to suffer with select a picture totally square, prepared in a paint, in order to get choice in my profile picture. This is not my work. The computer can do if I set a huge picture, a really super wide picture, set the square middle of the picture into a profile picture or something, you know? I know this is, this is detail questions, but this is where the fun begins, the details, small questions, the small things can decide this operation system is good or not. I mean, I mean, let me give you, I, I know you are not watching me, so <laughs> I can release back now. Ah, oh, come on, I release myself, you are not watching, you are already closed it. <laughs> let me give you an example. There is a, oh no, I have no laptop over here. But for gaming, you know, this is a laptop, okay? This is a small piece of paper, never mind. So, just imagine it. This is a closed laptop. It's installed with Windows 10, but the user is decide it's enough, it's enough. He want to try this thing the old man is see the KDA on my screen and he want it to his own laptop. Okay, this is the hardest thing I can tell you. His laptop is running an Intel Core i7 with maybe two cores and only four gigabytes of memories and very small amount of video card, maybe uh, Intel integrated very slow snail or something you know i can show him the force of the kda the beautifulness of a compass cube open gl desktop rotation stuff in here and of course this 
It's happened again. Yes. The screens have locked and already see the white and the blue stuff. So it's still. I know, I know. The operation system is can fix itself, but come on. Where I was. So the laptop is slow and oh back in the days so is the spider is stick a web on its back and the batteries is leaking and <laughs> smell as a cigar. So it's, it's terrible. But it's still working somehow. They have a Wi-Fi network and the KDA is cannot see the Wi-Fi network's integrated adapter in a laptop. You know, only a viral network is available. So the laptop is lose its freedom because the Wi-Fi is not working. To compare that, the KDA Ubuntu 18.04 is quickly recognized the USB, uh, no, the the Wi-Fi network at, uh, adapter integrated into the motherboard of the laptop and running relatively smooth because of the very slow video card, uh, slow amount, slow and very few amount of RAM. So the KDA Ubuntu is a little bit better, but <laughs> you should be the better, <laughs> you know, because the newest KDA is available in here. And let me say, it's really far from perfect. So this laptop thing is must be fixed. Maybe, maybe you understand what I mean. Okay, so, ah, uh, shit. Okay, I get it. So again, this is a white and blue thing in here. Oh, surprisingly, it's white cursor. Ah, wow, I have a white cursor. Okay, so <coughs> thank you for watching this one entire hour of thing. So thank you for watching me and maybe you watch my other videos in order to understand what is it means screens in a row effect. So thank you for watching and feel free to drop me a line on the Facebook. Yes, I will answer the questions and I will answer every single line. Okay. No. Bye-bye and take care of you.